Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this code AB in the circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, blue segment uh, AP is 8 uh, units, whereas the red segment uh, PB is 5 units. And moreover, the circle area has been given to us as 49 pi square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, OTP. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We have been given the circle area as uh, 49 pi. And now we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And in our case, uh, our area has been given to us 49 pi. So therefore, I'm going to fill in the blanks. 49 times pi equals to pi times r square. And now let's divide pi on both sides. We can see that this pi and pi is gone. Likewise, they are gone as well. I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, we can see that our radius uh, turns out to be 7 units. So this the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 7 units. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this uh, side length uh, OP of this triangle as uh, X uh, units. And in this uh, next step, I have extended uh, this line uh, OP all the way from this point uh, C to this point uh, D. And now we can see that this uh, CD is the diameter of this uh, circle since this is passing through this uh, center O. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OD is the radius uh, of this circle. And we know the radius is uh, 7. So this is going to be 7 units. And likewise, uh, this uh, OC is the radius uh, of the circle as well. So this is going to be 7 units uh, as well. So therefore, we can see that this uh, length of this segment uh, PD is going to be X uh, plus uh, 7. So therefore, our this uh, PD length uh, turns out to be 7 plus X. And now we know that this uh, OC length uh, is uh, 7 and this uh, segment uh, OP is uh, X. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, CP is going to be 7 minus uh, X. So thus this uh, CP length uh, turns out to be 7 minus X. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords uh, intersect in a circle, then the products uh, of the measures uh, of the segments of the chords are uh, equal, as you can see in this given uh, diagram. And here we can see these two chords, uh, A, C, and B, D, intersect each other in this uh, circle, such that uh, this segment A times uh, B is going to be equal to this segment uh, C times uh, D. As you can see in this equation, A times B equal to C times D. And now we can see in this uh, given problem, we got two, two chords, uh, A, B, and C, D. They intersect each other at this point uh, P, such that uh, the product of this uh, length uh, C, P times this uh, length uh, CD is going to be equal to this uh, blue segment uh, times this uh, red segment. And now we know that our uh, PD length is 7 plus X, uh, CP length is uh, 7 minus uh, X, and this uh, blue segment is 8, and this uh, red segment is 5. So therefore, uh, we can write uh, 8 times 5 uh, is going to be equal to 7 minus uh, x times uh, 7 plus uh, x. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b times uh, a plus b is going to be equal to a square minus b square, the difference of two squares. 
and we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, right hand side of this equation. So therefore on the left hand side we got uh, 40 equal to when we apply this uh, identity that is going to give us uh, 49 minus uh, x square. And now I'm going to move this uh, x square on the left hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, 40 on the other side as well. Let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our x value turns out to be 3 units. So therefore our this uh, side length uh, x turns out to be 3 units. In other words, this side length uh, OP of this triangle is uh, 3 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this chord AB. We can see that this whole uh, chord AB length is uh, 8 plus 5 uh, is going to make uh, 13 units. So therefore, our AB length uh, turns out to be 13. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is uh, perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. And here we can see that this uh, OT is uh, perpendicular to this chord uh, AB. So therefore, uh, this perpendicular is going to bisect this AB chord uh, into two equal parts. Uh, this uh, AT equals to TB. So therefore, uh, this uh, AT length uh, is going to be 6.5 uh, and likewise uh, this uh, TB length is going to be 6.5 uh, units as well. As you can see over here, AT is 6.5 and TB length is uh, 6.5 as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, TB length uh, is uh, 6.5 and this uh, PB length is uh, 5. So therefore uh, this tiny TP length is going to be 6.5 minus 5 is going to give us uh, 1.5. So therefore our this uh, TP length uh, turns out to be 1.5 units. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, green triangle uh, OTP. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, green triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 3 units. And our this uh, side length is 1.5. And now we are going to calculate this side length uh, OT. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, b in our case is uh, 1.5 whole square equal to 3 square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, a square plus uh, 2.25 equals to 9. And now we are going to subtract uh, 2.25 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore a square turns out to be equal to 6.75. Let me undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. And here we can see our a value turns out to be equal to 2.6 units. In other words, uh, our this OT length uh, turns out to be 2.6 units. And now let's focus once again on this uh, green triangle uh, OTP. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And here in our case, the base of this triangle is 1.5. And the height of this uh, triangle is 2.6. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 1.5 times uh, 2. 0.6 and if we simplify everything uh, the right hand side is going to give us uh, 1.95 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 1.95 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.